Hi, I'm Robert. And behind me, well, this is the 2023 A-Liner. This is the classic model. It's 15 feet long, weighs under 2,000 pounds, has a hitch weight, only 185. What does that mean for you? Tow it with a car, tow it with an SUV, certainly tow it with a full-size truck, even some of the mini trucks. These are super lightweight trailers. You can maneuver them by hand on a hard surface. You've got that wheel up on the front and it just, you can put it in the garage by hand. So even if you don't know how to back up very well, it makes it super simple. I'm gonna show you how to set it up in less than five minutes, show you how to take it down in less than five minutes and just how much fun it can be. Then we'll do a walkthrough on the inside and I'll show you what features and benefits we have there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and let's go to work. First things first, let's latch our door. I'm going to unhook the top half of the door. It makes things much easier. We're going to collapse our dormers down first. We do that by just simply flipping a lever, drop that wall, do the same thing on the opposite side, grab our strap, pull it on down. Come over to the bedside. Super simple, one lever, one wall, one strap. Then we're gonna go outside the trailer and we're gonna push these walls down. Simple clamp, simple clamp. and repeat the process on the front dormer. Super easy. We're gonna go inside. And we've got two bigger levers on the back wall. Simply flip those, let our wall drop down. There's a nice rubber stopper that sits on the table on the inside. Repeat the process with the door wall. Grab your door. Get it about 90 degrees out so it doesn't hit the top up here. Set it down. As you're stepping out, close your door. Unlatch your door. And don't forget to put up steps. We're gonna grab this wall here, or excuse me, roof, and give it a tug. And then I grab the high wind lift assist. Pull it on down. And just like the dormers, a simple clamp. Repeat the process on the back side. And that's it, folks. All right, let's see how simple it is to set up. You just simply remove a clamp, pull that lever down. We'll do the same thing on the back side. Open up our door and let's go ahead and clamp it back here. Open your steps. Lift your door as you're walking in. Grab the door jam and just kind of lean on out. Oop, didn't get my roof all the way up yet. Hang on. There we go. Get your door. Let's rock it on out towards the front. And then a simple lever. A simple lever. And then I will reach outside and I'll clamp those doors together. I'll go to the back wall and repeat the process. Two big levers. And then once your walls are up, you go outside and unclamp your dormers.
Then we repeat the process on the front dormer. And then we go inside and I push up on the ceiling and out on the wall. Stand my first wall. My second wall. And then we'll come back here in the back. Push our dormer the rest of the way out. Back wall. Front wall. come outside close my door and now we've got these high wind lift assist which I didn't need today but these are also an extra security for your roof and high wind so we'll attach those and then same thing on the back side Folks, it really is that simple. It takes less than five minutes. I haven't looked at the clock yet, but I'm gonna bet that's about two minutes and 20 seconds. Come get an A-liner. They're easy, they're fun. Fifteen feet long, 2,000 pounds, 185 pound hitch weight, sleeps three. This one has the dormers and they're hard-sided. Super easy to set up. A lot of fun. Actually, it's kind of fun setting up. If you were a kid that made forts on the bed and the couch, this is probably your camper. I know it's mine. Twin propane tanks. Those are going to be the five gallon jobbers. There's our 30 amp cord, some storage below our bunk, excuse me, below our booth inside. Double steps on this unit getting in. Grill rack. Storage in the back under the main bed. Those hard-sided dormers I talk about so much. Of course, these units are going to come with a full-size spare on them. This has a six-gallon water heater on it, outdoor shower, even a charge port for a ZAMP connector. Really nice. Let's go in the inside and see what it looks like. All right, let's look at the inside. There's our double steps and watch your step. Right here is going to be that storage from the outside. There's our grill that goes on the outside rack. Fire extinguisher, of course. Microwave and a great placement, so if you want to cook something from outside. Queen bed in the back. All the space that dormer provides. Great views. There's our booth dinette. You just simply stack those up. Put you some Velcro to hold them up. We've got that movable table. And I'll show you in a moment how we drop that down to a bed. And then, of course, we've got our kitchen area here. It's going to have your LP refrigerator. You've got a furnace, water heater, of course, a water pump, and faucet, of course. All right, let's break this unit down. All right, folks, here's that table. And this actually has a storage spot. It's pretty clever, actually. Let me just show you how that works real quick. Put that table down. So that just hooks in between those two little slots right there. And then we can come into here. If you've watched my other videos, I talk about keeping countertops clear so you can break this down a little easier at night. But let me show you what's going on. So you can access your outside storage through here. Both sides. Oop, a little loud there. And then we've got one other nook here in the front. So you can put your long gun in there if you wish or whatever. And then, like I said earlier, if we have some clean countertops, we've got a place to stack our stuff. And that makes things much easier. A-liner takes our slats right here. And we can complete a bed assembly. Just build that up real easy. Now we have our bed. Let's remove that cushion right there.
there we go. What do you think of that? Super easy. It's kind of fun, folks, playing a little bit of Tetris. Pretty fun. I'm six foot three. I've got plenty of room in here. I can see some storage under the bed. I'll show you in just a moment. Really a neat little setup. Of course, you're going to be spending more time outside than anywhere. And uh, that's kind of a cool thing because inside is where you're going to go when it rains, right? And then this little countertop here, of course, this is going to house our microwave. This does have a turntable. That is an upgrade. Cooks your food a little more evenly. We have some storage right here down below that cabinet. And then over here, we've also got some more storage. It's going to go up underneath the bed when we have it in a bed in the bed station. You've got a USB port over here. And then over here, well, there's our kitchen area. Of course, you're going to have an LP refrigerator here. Freezer up above. Super easy to get to. All your controls right up top. This will be your furnace. This is going to be a 120 volt outlet, of course. This is where we turn on the water heater, and this is where we turn on the water pump. And then we have some more storage down below, and I can see our steel fender down there. Up above, we'll have our collapsible sink, and this is going to have hot and cold water, of course. Keep watching, folks. All right, and let's show you how to collapse that bed down. Super easy. As I'm folding those up, I just push the bottom towards the back side of the camper. And then eventually, I've got my couch set up. Oops. Bottom down there, like such. And we'll put a top cushion up top. That'll make things a little more user friendly. Anyway, that gives you a nice seating area right there. It's super easy to do. And you could even leave that like that and use it as a day bed. And then down here, we're going to have a 12-volt power source, so you could plug in some accessories, charge your phone if you wish, but we do have USBs in here. You can plug in a 12-volt television. That will be your coaxial. That's the way they designed this. That'll be your propane detector. And then up here, this is going to have your charge controller, all of your breakers and your fuses. And one key note is this has auto-detect. And what that's going to do is if you decide to upgrade to a lithium battery set, it instantly recognizes that it's lithium and changes to the correct charging rate. Over here, this is going to be our thermostat for our heater. And this one's for our air conditioner. What do you think, folks? I'm loving this unit. All right. Well, that concludes our walkthrough. Folks, what do you think of the A-Liner? This is probably one of my favorite units to show demonstrate and use let's get out there and let's check out some views let's go camping folks